Hello, inside my RV storage building, I uh, got my storage uh, for my RV, uh, travel trailer, and I have a, a Eagle metal building that was put up a couple months ago to store my RV in, and it came with an eight, well, I say it came, but I actually had them put a eight by seven foot uh, roll up garage door in the backside, and uh, there was no way to really good way to lock it. You had to lock it from the outside. I didn't really like doing that. We'll put the lock on it. So I wanted to better lock it and I wanted to better automate it also. So what I did, I put a garage door opener on it and I got my button here. Notice I uh, just pushed the button and my garage door opens and closes for my button. And what I did was uh, they make garage door openers for roll-up doors, but they're pretty expensive for what you're getting. Uh, and I wanted to fix my own, so I made, I uh, just got one for a regular garage door opener. I got a uh, Chamberlain, Chamberlain garage door opener. This one's even Wi-Fi, so I can even close it from inside my house once I get it set up It's a smart uh, my smartphone system so I can open and close it. It's just a regular garage door. It's a belt driven so it's really really quiet and instead of running uh, leafways like a normal garage door would this one just goes up and down so I had to make a little mount for it and come down and I just screwed into the base uh, and like I say it's belt driven so it's really really quiet and that's my garage door. So I can just hit the button again and close it off. And I will show you here, let me stop it. Uh, what I did was I mounted with a garage door opener. It's got the, uh, the bar and it goes down and I used just a piece of, uh, either a piece of pipe is what I used or I used, what I used is actually antenna. Um, pole. It's a 10 foot section of antenna pole and I just mounted it to the bottom of the door. Uh, the only thing bad about the round that I found uh, with a piece of pipe or something, it wanted to, when it pushed down, it wanted to twist and twist the door. So I had to come over here and, and put some braces here to keep it from, from twisting, uh, which worked pretty good. But if you had a piece of uh, flat bar uh, angle iron or something like that. It probably would have worked better to keep it from twisting uh, on here. So I just mounted an eye uh, and run my bolt through here with my uh, my bar that goes to the uh, belt system. Goes up and down. Anyway, it works pretty good. Uh, it's automated now. I, all I need to do is put some lights and stuff in there, but I don't really need them. So, uh, But that's pretty much just push the button and all the remote controls on either one, the door goes up and down. Uh, I'll go over there one time and show you how it works. And it stops wherever you have it set. It stops. So it really works good. I'm happy with it.